Hey everyone, so I'm making this video because I know how intimidating the skull is. There are so many landmarks in such a small area and sometimes from pictures it's difficult to tell what's actually being labeled. So because there are so many landmarks on the skull, this video is just going to be the landmarks of the face, um, including the eye socket, nasal cavity, and oral cavity. And I'm going to have a separate video, which is just the landmarks of the cranium. So we're going to start with the frontal bone um, and the orbit, which is your eye socket. In between the eyebrows, in what you might call your unibrow region, is a little flat space, which is called the glabella. Then, because the orbit is your eye socket, the ridge above your eye socket is the supraorbital margin. Just remember, the word margin means a border or an edge, just like the margin on your paper. Um, then inside the supraorbital margin is a hole called the supraorbital foramen. So if the supraorbital foramen is above the eye, below the eye is the infraorbital foramen. Whenever you see the word foramen, you know you're looking at a hole. So if you look in the back of the eye socket, you also see um, there's some cracks. The top crack is the superior orbital fissure, and the bottom crack is the inferior orbital fissure. And the word fissure just means a crack. So rotating the skull to the side a bit, um, you see you have the superior orbital fissure, and then right next to it is the optic canal. Now looking at the inside of the nasal cavity, you see there's what looks like a wall of bone, which is actually two separate structures. You have the top half which is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone, and the bottom half, which is the vomer bone. And then if you follow the vomer bone out, there's a little point, which is the anterior nasal spine. So looking at the nasal cavity straight on, you can see um, the middle nasal concha, and the inferior nasal concha, which are structures that help the air tumble as it enters your nose, um, so it's more exposed to surface area and be can become warm and humidified um, before it enters your lungs. Coming down the face um, to your maxillary bone, real quick, this line here, this little suture, the little sutures are how you know when one bone stops and another bone begins. So the middle bone here um, is your maxillary bone and your cheekbone is your zygomatic. So as mentioned previously, the crack in the bottom of your eye is the inferior orbital fissure then you have the infraorbital foramen. Also in the maxillary bones, you have your teeth sockets. Um, the word alveoli is just a generic term that means a small empty space. In terms of your face, it's referring to um, your teeth sockets. So the border around your mouth is the alveolar margin and each little point in between each tooth um, is an alveolar process. Now if we look on the roof of the mouth 
um, you see there's a hole behind your two front teeth. Your two front teeth are your incisors. So the hole behind the two front teeth is the incisive foramen. Also, um, you might recall that the roof of the mouth, most of it, the anterior two thirds is still part of the maxillary bone. Um, and that part, the roof of your mouth are called the palatine processes because the back half of your mouth or the back one third of your mouth, everything behind that yellow line is the palatine bone. So the palatine processes are going towards the palatine bone. <clears throat> Moving on to the mandible, more commonly known as the jawbone, um, it's split into two regions. The front is the body, and the back half, um, the little arm, is the ramus. So this triangular point is the coronoid process. And this more rounded bump um, is the mandibular condyle. Whenever you see the word condyle, it means that it's a bump that's fitting into a joint. So the mandibular condyle um, makes up part of your jaw joint. And in between the two, that little indent is the mandibular notch. And the corner of your jaw is the mandibular angle. In the front, we have a little ridge of bone, um, the mandibular symphysis. Um, symphysis, sim, just means coming together, like a symphony is sounds coming together. We also have the mental foramen, the two holes here. And then looking around the back, these holes are the mandibular foramen. And there you have it. That's all the landmarks of the face. My advice when learning the bony landmarks is to break it into small chunks. So pick seven to 10 terms you wanna learn, review them, and be able to point to the landmark and recite the name without looking at the word. Once you can do that, move on to the next seven to 10 terms. Um, review those and then keep going back periodically, looking over the old terms. If you try to learn 50 landmarks at once without uh, going back and reviewing, your brain is going to implode. It's really hard to learn that way. Um, so study smarter, not harder. All right, so that's all the advice and information I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and good luck studying.